So load is it is it is it one octave or two octaves? Yeah, one. One octave, thank you. Just wanted to get that right. I would also like to formally thank all of you for attending this party. KO is celebrating the gold certification for the Chase Tallwood Math, Science, and Technology Center, which is the product of 20 years of planning at all levels of organization. And many of you know we were upgraded to gold from silver status this past summer. And we aren't referring to any 10 or 14 karat alloy. This is pure gold back here. Now, there are plenty of anecdotes and, and uh, metaphors related to silver, but gold is just so much more fun and seems appropriate in this case, too. I've been here about 26 years teaching, working with the Buildings and Grounds Department in the summers, and this has given me a unique perspective on the evolution of this project, prototype to physical plant. I've seen what it takes to reach such lofty goals. As Dennis Bisgard related to me a few weeks ago, symbols are important. So I hope it doesn't sound like too much of a cliche to report this, but the CT building, as we now refer to it, does represent an extraordinary investment from our community toward the future our students will inherit in an ever-changing world. This is an uncertain landscape in which more and more people compete for ever-dwindling resources while creating increasingly large stockpiles of waste. And you know, the scariest part of this reality is the pace with which things change. When the architects began drawing this building, the computing cloud did not function functionally exist. So as educators, all we can do is just take aim, move ahead, and count on inspiration. For this reason, the Kingswood Oxford community committed to this endeavor at the dawn of one of the worst recessions our country has experienced, which prompts me to state that our celebration represents much more than standard decorum. This was a risk. Years ago, while talking to engineers, administrators, and architects during the planning phase of this vision, KO faculty members were insistent about one point. If we couldn't do it right, it was not worth doing. If I could make one more important point, symbols matter only if there is substance to support the edifice. Many of the people gathered in this space have been willing to make significant sacrifices to support this project, and I believe they did so because they had faith in the value of the KO experience for their children. Media outlets constantly remind us with full color statistical analysis that American students increasingly rank lower than their peers from other countries in objective education. Though math and science instruction at KO formerly took place in archaic and sometimes windowless rooms, we cannot claim to have followed this downward trend. We are part of something special here. And our hallways echo with the voices of people like Jim Goodwin, Chick Jacobus, Marion Hallinan, Dick and Carol Cayley, and of course, Joel Lorden. So I want to assure everyone assembled here that we teachers are dedicated to and enabled by the precious legacy they bequeath us. We won't always get it right, but as any chemist could remind us, pure gold is easily dented and very slow to tarnish. Just inside these gleaming walls lives passion and urgency, all supported by your faith and generosity. On behalf of KO, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to trustees, parents, grandparents, and all of the alums who spiritually and financially supported the school with this project. Also, I would like to recognize Mike Fryer in memoriam for monitoring every phase of this construction. While grieving for the loss of his wife, he learned that he too is dying. And this project gave him purpose and something to look forward to each day. It was worth doing and it was done right. And I thank you for coming today. <laughs>